The fight of the night was Matt Hobar and Sergio Pettis. Performance of the night, Anthony Pettis and Josh Sandman, $50,000. John, he's a hell of a fighter. He's tough as hell, and uh, what a fight. What a fight. I feel like I uh, finished strong. I feel like I won the fourth and the fifth, and uh, it was a close fight, man. When you have two guys who are tough as hell going in there and both stingy, sometimes you get fights like that. That's not how I thought the fight was going to go, and it maybe we'll do it again sometime. I feel like I had a great performance. I mean, Gil's a tough guy. Um, I was expecting a war out there, and uh, you know he, he delivered. First round was a tough round. Um, I tried to avoid the takedowns um, as best as possible, but uh, I think once I got to the striking range, I, I, I delivered and um, hit him with some good shots, hit him with some, uh, some nice jabs. But uh, I mean, I think, I think I did enough to prove that I deserved this belt in front of me. And well I didn't there. fight. You know what I mean? Look at the fourth and fifth round. I just didn't fight. I did really good. <clears throat> didn't come out the fourth and fifth like I normally do. You know what I mean? Uh, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm going to be my worst critic. I don't need you guys, you know what I mean, to sit there and say, oh, you look like shit or you look like this. You know what I mean? Uh, that's my job. Um, <clears throat> and <clears throat> that's sort of what it was. You know what I mean? Uh, I didn't stay light on my feet like I should have. I sort of done a couple other things to, to sh secure my win, but <clears throat> get lost in the moment. And that happened to me and I'll be back I'll be back yeah I was trying to pressure a little bit got a little sloppy and a little too anxiety in there but um but yeah I wanted to pressure Anthony I didn't want him to set and and even when I didn't pressure I could see the look in his eye like he was gonna come so I was like I just better walk forward and, and try to trade a little bit with the punches but yeah that was my intentions I, I got a little sloppy out there but it was learning experience and I think I would do some things differently and uh, just look to grow as a fighter from that the fight tonight made me learn a lot about myself, a lot about what I need to do, and a lot what I need to correct in my camp, you know. And a lot revolves around walking around at 215. You know, uh, we're going to try to make a – I'm going to make that decision. I'm going to work with Mike Dolce, stay around 195. You know what I mean? Do everything right because I had that belt, and I want it back. Uh, man, last year was a long year for me, man. 15 months off was a long time, and, uh, you know, the Wheaties contest was going on. I had my fight coming up, so this, there was a lot of pressure on me for this, this fight, and uh, I just feel like uh, I just locked in on, on training, and I, I just uh, fell in love with the sport again, and, and I, I believed in myself, and you know, I performed again to the best of my ability. This wasn't just me out there. There was a lot of time and effort from a lot of people around me that uh, helped me to get where I am today, and uh, it was, it's their victory, too.